Hey guys, it's Joey, and this is my witchy vlog for the Ogum Eel or You. And it's a bit of an interesting one this week. It's a little bit uh, more complex. More complex. Uh, a little bit more abstract, perhaps. So we talked about the meanings and the tree law in the video where we connect. But for a quick recap, it's accepting the inevitable reincarnation, destiny, death, rebirth, new starts, contact with the path. Past. And path, I suppose. So, we started off with this quote. Shane McLen McClendon, the good girl. I will breathe. I will think of solutions. I will not let my worry control me. I will not let stress break me. I will simply breathe and it will be okay because I don't quit. Later that day I saw a hawk seeking a higher perspective, spiritual awareness, be focused in our undertakings, taking the lead when the time is right, observation, messenger from the other world. I'd seen hawks before and there is a Morrigan connection. The hawk itself was sat in a tree observing the world which I'm gathering advises the same behaviour of me for the time being. The hawk was also a symbol of the Celtic god Bran, sage, death, connection. Be daring, be different, be unpractical, be anything that will assert integrity of purpose and imaginative vision. Cecil Beaton, The Old Crone's Corner, as was this quote from The Old Crone's Corner, but this one was by Mandy Hale. Change can be scary, but you know what's scarier, allowing fear to stop you from growing, evolving and progressing. <clears throat> Life is too short. There is no time to leave imp important words unsaid. And then, quote from me, my intellectual property, a uh, depth of feeling beyond ordinary. We can never be ordinary. And then the following day, I think it was, um, this, I was looking for a very clear sign and this came through and this had my name in it. So, you are the gull, Joe, strong and wild, fond of the storm of wind, flying far out to sea and happy alone. There's been a lot of seagull imagery again recently. Seagulls, I have mentioned in previous uh, videos, behave differently when they are by themselves in their natural habitat where nature intended, whereas um, they can be quite vicious around people, uh, modern life and all that. Um, but they're supposed to be symbolic of riding the currents, of going with the flow, of going with change. I, will, I wrote this down by Tolkien because well, every time this comes up I always get it in my head. Uh, the way it's shut, it was made by those who were dead, and the dead keep it until the time comes. The way is shut. This week so far has been largely inwardly reflective, like a pause. There hasn't been huge amounts of physical change yet, and I've been feeling slightly unwell. And uh, Da, 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 da. I want to connect deep her over the next day or so as I love crone energy. I did see a lot of my past lives calling out to me in one quite clear vision. And more and more I decided to delve into it, I came across this. This is mine, I wrote it, but you know. Death isn't always about rapid changes, sometimes it's the subtlety small changes, minor, seemingly insignificant little deaths in us until we are completely changed. Thinking this may be my lesson. Feeling the slight changes as I grow, the death of lesser, undesirable, negative parts of myself as I evolve. I've also noticed there's been a lot of comments of young women trying, or younger women, acting like teenagers trying to dominate others. Um, others men, others things, and I remember seeing this in my past and feeling the full cycle of this. 
seeing women go after other ma other other women's men or partners in a faithless display of lack of integrity. I want none of that in my life. It hurt me when I was a young girl and I will not stand for it as a woman. Death is just another path, one that we must all take. Gandalf, Lord of the Rings, Tolkien. Uh, picked up an obsidian palm stone for protection and a lithium quartz cluster. The dark, dusky grey with pink hints simply spoke to me. Lithium quartz, deep peace, harmony, release of stress and tension. Heightens the profoundness of your inner journey and supports spiritual growth. It takes you easily to the higher realms and helps you to connect to spiritual uh, awakenings. The vibration of this stone helps with stress, depression, anxiety. Energy will move through your whole body and activates all chakras. Super high energy for healing and balancing, said to be self-clearing and self-cleansing. Used to heal repressed anger and repressed grief as in a gentle and steady but powerful manner, as well as healing emotional issues from past lives. All of these energies tie in perfectly to the energies of you. Obsidian, purification, transformation, metamorphosis, manifestation, psychic ability. It enhances truth. It's a highly protective shield against all negativity, blocking psychic attack. And draws out mental strength and tension. Stimulates growth on all levels, urging exploration of the unknown and opening new horizons. Brings clarity to the mind and clears confusion. Helps you to know what and who you truly are. Black obsidian is a very powerful and creative stone. It increases self-control, faces up to one's true self and imbalances and negative energies are released through it. Protective and supportive during change. The major f flower in this case for this week, while I was connecting with the energies of this, came through as elderflower. Uh, used to relieve a heavy emotional state or if you're feeling stuck in a situation or state of mind. Helps overcome fear and anxiety and promote joy instead. Produces dreams of phalans and can be used for wish fulfillment, protection from criminals and sprinkled around the property or land is protective. There was also something about grey this week, grey wisdom law knowledge. Useful in candle work when complete when contemplating complex issues during meditation and to neutralise negative influences. Some, however, consider it to be a colour of mourning and sadness and refuse to work with it. Interesting given you corresponds to the death aspect of spirituality and some fear to work with the death aspect of the goddess, crone aspect, out of similar fears. Uh, I then wrote down all the spell work for this week, which was on the previous video, so we don't need to go into that again. And then we're going to have the t a few more quotes. One is not mine. This is Margaret Lee Runbeck. Happiness is not a state to arrive at a manner of travelling. And the next two are mine. Uh, I wrote this yesterday. I feel the call of the old woods and I want to disappear. This metal wood in which we live suppresses running deer. We once were free, you and I, wild and fast and fleeting. To hear the call of those old, old woods is to hear my heart beating. Joanne Morris, 2014. And then this is the poem for the rune itself. I am you, I show the door from death and beyond your life before. When you grieve, I hold your heart. You seek the end from where to start. Hear her call, the maiden crone, for all you've la lost and all you've known. Joanne Morris, 2014. So it kind of reminds me a little bit of the um, poem in Memoirs of a Geisha, sorry, um, where the quote goes that uh, there had been a poem written on the shrine about loss, and the, I believe he'd written three words, but the um, poet had scratched them out because you cannot see loss, you can only feel it, you cannot read it, you can only feel it. And there is an element of that with this, this ogham. This, it's a difficult abstract concept and a lot of it is very difficult to detect and it becomes things which are sometimes unnoticeable but then 
you're starting to go and you wake up one day and you're a different person because of all these little deaths you've been through. There was an element of helping others cope with death weaving through and that's where the spell work came into it very very much so had to felt very very drawn to do that very moved to do that i could have done different spells and things to do with just change and things but that grief and mourning side and helping people who were going through difficult life changes and things felt more pertinent, more important to capture within the energies of this week. There's been an element of pause, of breath, of waiting, and rather than cataclysmic change this week. Um, so we'll see where the energy of that goes forward from here. It's been more about reflection. This, this video may end up being a little bit shorter than some of the others, which isn't to say that the depth of feeling behind it has been any less, or the experience has been any less. It's been... Um, just as profound. It's just that a lot of it is internal, and it's very difficult to vocalise some of it. So I'm going to leave it there for this this rune. Uh, Ogum, sorry, not rune. I do that every time. Because I think I've touched on everything that I, I want to share. Like some of it's going to be personal and therefore is mine, my private stuff. So <laughs> uh, that's how it's going to remain. But I did want to just share these ideas, the, you know, um, not being afraid and engaging with these energies without fear there is this fear of for some reason grey candles which I found bizarre but I've, I've read around before like people advising not to go anywhere near certain goddesses because they have a death aspect and death then takes on this negative thing where I, I have never seen it as being negative I've just seen it as being a natural part of this lifetime and a doorway onto the next. It's hard and it's in all of the circumstances whether we're talking physical death for the last time or we're talking spiritual mini deaths or the deaths of um, people in our lives that are no longer in them. It's never easy for those people going through those circumstances who obviously the ones beh left behind are usually the ones with the grief generally speaking you know when people move away and they have that grief then that's you know slightly different but death in this aspect I don't think is something to be feared I, I don't think you should go chasing it either you know you don't want to end up seeking out your death too early sort of thing but um, there's a great deal to be learned from crone goddess energies d divining and the wisdom that is, is there. So that's going to be it for today. Many blessings.